on another early morning flight here, uh, this time Buffalo to back to Washington, D.C. via BWI, uh, Baltimore, Washington International Airport. And I have company this morning, an old friend, Rick Kern, who has worked with us in our ministry. Rick, we're going to talk about your latest endeavors as a writer. Rick is a talented, gifted writer who has helped us communicate our message. We're getting our announcements overhead here. I don't know if that's the, I guess that's uh, our pilot talking to us. Uh, we're probably at 20,000 feet by now or something, Rick. And Rick, you've been working on some projects. I want our folks to get to know you. Because you've actually read Rick's work on websites, in printed material, in our book, our 20 year uh, anniversary, uh, 25th anniversary retrospective. Rick did all the writing on that. Rick, tell us what's going on. What are you working on these days? Well, numerous things. Rob, thanks. Uh, as you know, I'm working on Ken Barney's second book. We That's did. Pastor Ken Barney of the New Antioch Baptist Church, where I've been teaching the men's group and often preach there. Dynamic African American congregation near Baltimore. Rick knows Pastor Barney well and is his amanuensis, his ghostwriter, dare I Correct, say. yes. Okay. Yes, ironically, he tells everybody I'm his ghostwriter, so Good for him. it's kind of credited. Yeah, I, uh, great book. His second book's going to be great. But you got another book going, too. Got another book right here by uh, Judge Bob Let's Alexander. Yeah. Oh, I don't want to obscure you. There we go. Half heaven, uh, half heartache. Correct. I know this judge. Is he still a sitting judge? He's still a sitting judge, 20 years on the bench. Uh, what, what's the heart of that story? It's a, it's a story of redemption. He was one of the most lost, violent people you'd ever know. A biker, a drug dealer. Uh, this book will keep you on your seat from cover to cover. It's remarkable. In fact, I know this judge well, and I know his harrowing story, and I know his heroic work as a Christian on the bench. you got to get a hold of this book. Where do they find it? www.menoftheharvest.org. Okay, you heard it. We don't do this well, see, I'm not a professional <laughs> yeah. here, but uh, half heaven, half heartache. Give it to me one more time. www.menoftheharvest.org. That's his organization, that's his website, you can get it off there. And Pastor Barney's book that you wrote, beautiful story of this man's spiritual journey through life. Wasn't born a pastor, he had his rough road, and then came to pastor one of the largest, most influential churches in the Baltimore, Washington area. Where do we get his book? Do you know? Off his website, it's I think it's newantiochbaptist.org. We'll make sure it's on the screen, so Good. the accurate one will be on the screen. Fantastic and, story. Rick, it's great to have your company on this flight. Just so happened, I was here in Buffalo visiting with family, speaking at a conference up in Toronto, and then uh, saw Rick who came by to pay a visit to my dad who's suffering as you know and your prayers are so appreciated and uh, we get talking and Rick says I'm going to Baltimore tomorrow I said well I'm flying back to Baltimore to get to Washington I have a full day of activity today it's the national day of prayer we have events at the Capitol I'll go immediately there I'll be dressed up in my suit I'm going to dash through my apartment on the hill change like Superman into a suit go over to the Capitol, participate in those events. Then I have a news conference with 15 members of Congress who are proposing a resolution affirming our Judeo-Christian uh, heritage in our country. Then I go to uh, preside at the formal closing ceremonies of the Bible Reading Marathon. It's been underway all this week in the pouring, drenching, freezing rain. God bless their courage. And then I go to the Supreme Court where I conduct the only National Day of Prayer observance at the court. And after that, I'm collapsing. Right? Enjoy so you that. have a really productive, blessed day with Pastor Thank Barney. You, you Tell too. him hello, and I'm glad our friends got to meet you, and you pray with us today on the National Day of Prayer. I'll check in with you again tomorrow. See ya.